Today in this video, I'm going to be showing you how you can get the dislike button back on YouTube. Now, a couple months back, YouTube got rid of the dislike button, which was a pretty dumb idea. The dislike button is such an important metric to if a video is helpful, not helpful, if it's spreading misinformation, and stuff like that. Overall, it was a really, really dumb idea. Now, one thing YouTube didn't do is remove the API behind the dislike button. So, to us, it's just not there. We can't see how many people disliked it. But in YouTube's code and everything like that, it's still there. It's just hidden. So, today in this video, I'm going to be showing you exactly how you can get it back for completely free. So, you can see I'm already on one of my YouTube videos I did in February. And you can see the likes and dislikes. Now, if I go to my channel and pick, let's say, this video, you can see that my dislikes are there. If we go to any YouTube video, let's click on one from Miskiff, you can see his likes and dislikes are there. This is very good. So this works all the time once you do this. It's not a 50-50. It's not a gamble. You're always going to have the option to see those dislikes, which is great and amazing. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you how you can get it. So if you go to the first link in my description or Google, uh, return to YouTube dislike, it's going to be the first thing that pops up. It just says return YouTube dislikes. Once you're on here, you'll see it goes to their little page where you can install it. They also have their GitHub, your platform. It talks about the API, uh, help, frequently asked questions. And if you really like what they're doing, you can even donate to um, support them. So for us right now, we're going to go to install and it's going to ask you to select your platform. You can do this in Firefox, Chrome, Edge, and all these other ones. Um, it's also, you can use the liberty of our site at your own risk through YouTube uh, on Android and stuff like that. You can even jailbreak it on iOS. Um, for me, I'm on Google Chrome, so I'm just going to click on Chrome. And you'll see it takes you to the Chrome extension site. And it shows exactly what it does. It has a little preview of the likes to dislikes. And it's showing, of course, YouTube Rewind. Um, one of the most disliked videos, I think it shows 20 million dislikes, which is a crazy thing. Um, and you can see I already have it, but I'm going to remove it from Chrome real quick. Go to YouTube, and you'll see that it shows the likes of this Jay Schlatt being surprised by his chat. And it doesn't show the dislikes. Now, if we pause this video and click Add to Chrome, as you should do right now, it's going to ask you, it can read the changes in data amounts of websites. Who cares? Totally fine. Add extension. And then you'll see at the top, return YouTube dislikes has been added to Chrome. Exit out of that. And you'll see right here, it still doesn't show them. I do a quick little refresh. And... There you go, it took a minute because it was just freshly installed. It shows the dislikes. Now, that did take a little while because I just added it, but if I click on this, you'll see it automatically shows it. I've been watching a lot of Miskiff, if you couldn't tell. My whole side panel is just recommended to them. Um, and you'll see it updates literally immediately. No matter what you click on, it just shows there. So it did take a little while to pop up the first time. That's because we just installed it. But for you, after the first install and you start clicking on random videos or just watch videos, you'll have the option to view the dislikes uh, to likes. And there you go. That's so you can return the YouTube dislike button for completely free on Google Chrome, Firefox, Edge, and even on Android and iOS if you know how to jailbreak that stuff. Um, if you did like this video, please make sure to drop it a like and subscribe if you are new. And I'll see you in the next video. Peace.